one of the longest bridges in the world. An overseas highway from island to island. Ride with me from Miami to the Florida Keys, to the quirky, colorful and tropical town Key West, to the southernmost point of the United States and explore the gems along the way. I am at a very special place today. You can see it behind me. I am at Eagle Riders. And we do a super cool trip today. Uh, we rented motorcycles and very special ones. Not exactly adventure bikes. These ones here. And we will go from Miami in Florida to Key West. <laughs> This is my ride for the next two to three days. It's a Harley Davidson Heritage Softail. Fun fact, you actually don't need to wear a helmet here in Florida. You can drive motorcycle without helmet. But I am wearing my adventure helmet. Not the best fit with the Harley, but I can't ride without. And we were off, me and my two travel companions. We were off to our ride from Miami to the Florida Keys, an archipelago of coral islands dotted in the Azure Ocean. Yes, riding a Harley is a quite different feeling than riding an adventure bike, especially in comparison with such a lightweight and agile bike like my Yamaha Tenere. But they are made for the roads that we will travel on our way to the Florida Keys. The Keys Road runs from Miami to Key West and travels in about three and a half hours if there is no traffic. But leaving Miami felt like a pretty long part of it. So here right after Homestead in the south of Miami we turn right on Highway 1 and now we are really on our way to the Florida Keys. As soon as you turn onto US Route 1, getting lost or taking a wrong turn on your way to Key West would be a great achievement. You just follow Highway 1 South for the next 125 miles or 200 kilometers and you will arrive in Key West. The ride to Key West takes you over several keys, which means over several islands of this archipelago. And we go first over Key Largo, um, then Plantation Key, and then we stay at a very special place. Hurricane season in Key West is from June to November, so you might consider some of the other months for your journey. But prices can get really high in the main season, so a very good option is to stay at another island along the way and to navigate from there. That's what we did. We stayed at Isla Morada. That was a very warm ride, actually pretty hot. And now we arrived in Isla Morada, our first stop. Isla Morada is located directly between Miami and Key West on five islands in the Florida Keys and is actually pronounced Isla Morada, which was again one of the pronunciations that didn't make any sense to me. Even though the name Isla Morada came from early Spanish explorers and means translated Purple Island, 
You don't pronounce it the Spanish way anymore, but very English, with Isla being now Isla, similar to the word island. You basically can't choose a wrong restaurant in the Florida Keys if you pick one by the water for the perfect sunset atmosphere. And yes, the views are so beautiful that the food seems to become a minor matter. But there is for sure one iconic dish you need to try when visiting the Florida Keys. And Casamar Market close to Isla Morada is indeed one of the best stores to get your hands on this delicious seafood. Stone crab claws. They're not so cheap, this crab. No, huh? they're very exclusive. Yes, seafood is definitely the way to go when visiting the Florida Keys. And one of the best experiences you should not miss out on is doing a boat trip and fishing your own dinner. And if you are not careful, you might get a little bite by a shark. Don't worry, this shark was not hurt during our fishing and it was released into its freedom after we caught it. Today we are going to Key West, which is the most southern point of the US. And I'm looking super forward to that. Good morning everyone! Today we are doing what we're here for, riding all the way to Key West and to the southernmost point of the United States of America. On our way we first stopped at one of the most iconic places of the Florida Keys. Robbie's, where you can see enormous tarpon swimming around the dock, have an extraordinary breakfast or enjoy a drink with hundreds of dollars right above your head. So the absolutely crazy and remarkable thing about the ride to Key West is the bridges that you are crossing is just insane and I can't wrap my head around that you just drive over the ocean. The overseas highway crosses the Florida Keys archipelago. The series of islands dotted in the Azure Ocean, composed of the Upper Keys, Middle Keys and Lower Keys, are linked together by several bridges that form the overseas highway. The highway covers 113 miles or 181 kilometers and has only three turns.
now we are approaching this absolutely crazy bridge that connects two of the islands and is one of the longest bridges in the world and basically just goes above the ocean. If you ask me, it's a really crazy masterpiece of construction. The Seven Miles Bridge in Florida is one of the longest bridges in the world. It is flying over the deep blue Gulf of Mexico over 11 kilometers or seven miles and connects Night Key to Little Duck Key from the Gulf of Mexico to the Florida Strait. And yes, it is definitely the most spectacular part when riding the Florida Keys all the way to Key West. We didn't make any more stops before finally arriving in Key West. The city of Key West with its tropical, nonchalant and rebellious atmosphere is a true symbol of the east coast of the United States. It is located only 90 miles or 150 kilometers from Cuba and offers a unique free spirit vibe. Indeed, Key West even has its own flag. The so-called Contrepublic is a humorous micronation declared as a tongue-in-cheek secession of the city Key West from the United States on April 23, 1982. The Independence Day of the Contrepublic is celebrated every April 23rd as part of a week-long festival. The Contrepublic has as well its own Conch Special Forces. If the United States Coast Guard gets too close to the inhabitants of the islands, they just bomb them with rolls of toilet paper and stale Cuban bread. So guys, here behind me you can see the southernmost point of the continental USA. The large painted buoy marking the southernmost point, was established as a tourist attraction in 1983 by the city at the corner of South Street and Whitehead Street. It is one of the most visited and photographed attractions in the United States. There are countless iconic places in Key West, and the town has attracted many artists and writers over the years, and they have left their marks on the Key West culture. One of the most famous is probably Ernest Hemingway. This is the house of Hemingway and we're gonna explore this place now. Located on Whitehead Street in Old Town, you can visit Ernest Hemingway's former home, where he lived for 10 years. Today the house is a museum and you can see Hemingway's typewriter, living rooms, kitchen and bathroom. When Hemingway lived in Key West, he was given a six-toed cat named Snow White by a ship's captain. Today the Ernest Hemingway house is home of approximately 60 six-toed cats, most of them believed to be descendants of Snow White. After we returned from Key West to Isla Morada, suffering in the heat on our motorcycles, we decided to join one of the refreshing fun activities that you can find all over the Florida Keys, to go for a jet ski ride. We took a guided tour in a group. 
starting off with a fast ride in the open ocean up to 50 miles per hour or 80 kilometers per hour, our guide soon took us on a real tour, crossing Whale Harbor Bridge through mangrove tunnels and along the mansions of Isla Morada. No jet ski ride and as well no visit in the Florida Keys would be perfect though without enjoying the advantages of one of its stunning sandbanks. Now we're having a stop at a pretty wide, pretty nice sandbank. Hello! Hello, ocean dog! Hello! Oh my god! Oh my god! You're so cute! So, that was fun. And now, off to the next adventure. Now we are already saying goodbye to Isla Morada and to the Florida Keys. It was really a lovely stay, but let's ride back to Miami now. When in Florida, make sure not to miss out on Cuban breakfast. We only stopped once on the way back and it was definitely worth it. So that's it, back in Miami and this is the official end of my trip to the United States of America. I am a bit sad to return home, but I as well promise there are already new adventures waiting and coming up very soon. Thank you to everyone who joined my ride through the United States of America. Hit the bell button to join all future adventures and give this video a thumbs up and comment if you traveled all the way to Key West with me. After the journey is before the next journey and I already used my time wisely to film new videos for you. But before I will take you on new adventures, I will do a live chat next Thursday. I will reveal the destination of the future videos and try to answer as many of your questions as possible. Below this video you find a pinned comment where you already can ask questions that you want me to answer in the chat or just tune in next Thursday at 7.30 pm Central European time to chat with me live and join me for an after work drink. Got to go and see you in person next Thursday.